Hello everyone and welcome back to Will You Press The Button? Dun, dun, dun. Now, if you are new to this series, this is where I make terrible life decisions and I look like a complete ass of myself because in the first episode I said I would rather go out and make sweet love to space women and in the in the second episode I can't remember what happened but I, I know I said something ridiculous it's me but anyway let's get on with the show first question you will live as long as you like but you have to live at least 200 years done deal easy see people agree next your clothes would never get dirty but you would have to take all your showers and baths with your parents see this could be described as a moral issue because if your clothes never get dirty win uh, do, do. <laughs> just touch it the finger in the bottom do, 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 do. Okay, I got distracted. See, your clothes would never get dirty, and members from Greenpeace would stop having a go at you because you'd save water. Yeah. You're killing the planet! I love all of you! Next. The world becomes a utopia, and you become immortal, but you become unbelievably depressed for the rest of your life I'm already depressed let's make the world a better place you assholes you would be doing the greater good if only you and not everyone else was miserable as sin you asses next you are free to do anything illegal and cannot die until you're a hundred. But everyone hates you with no possibility of them ever loving you. <sighs> Don't judge me. End starvation globally, but all anyone eats is insects. I like, I like gluten too much. I'm, I'm sorry. I like gluten too much. I, I, I can't press that button. Kill everybody slash everything that's ever annoyed you at least once. But this involves your friends, family, pets, etc. Nope. I like my friends and extended family too much. See, see people, people like people. That's how we get a better world. You gain one dollar, euro, pound, etc. in your bank for every second that you don't scratch any part of your body. But if you scratch, rub, scrub or perform any action in an attempt to relieve yourself of an itch, other than someone else performing the action on you, you will no longer receive your payment. <sighs> Done deal. See? You become the ruler of the world, but you hear country music all the time. Nope, screw country music. It is a sick. Screw you, country fans. Metal music's better. Get a bit of slipknot down your throat instead of Uncle Bob. Next. You get back to any moment of time from your past, but you can't return from the present. No, because there's a reason why it's called the present, because life is a gift. Next. You instantly become the person you've always wanted to be, but you're now competing with six billion people who've done the same thing. No. Because I like who I am. You know, I'm already the person I like to be, and if people don't like that, it's their problem. You'll become rich and famous, but you can never be in a permanent relationship. No, I need love. Everyone needs love. See? More people need love instead of these selfish pricks. <laughs> you'll be able to speak any language, but you'll have the feel 
that a popcorn kernel is stuck in your throat 24-7? Yeah, because that means I can diplomise freaking aliens if they come down. You morons, you'll be able to bridge the gap between any diplomatic dispute, catch out all the liars, and be able to bridge the gap between humanity and the rest of the universe, you selfish meatheads! Next, please. You get unlimited supply of chocolate. Ooh. But you'll die if you ever eat chocolate again. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. That that's a tease. That is a that is a mega tease. That is the tease to the point where you want to literally eat your own face. No, I I I, I can't because it'll just be staring at me and it'll just be like stop looking at me. Why, why are all these become rich and famous? You will become rich, famous and happy, but paparazzi will literally follow you all the time and will always be taking photos of you every second and posting them where all the world can see them. No, because uh, I like to do adult things and I don't want those posted on the internet unless, well, they're endowing, they're, well, they're generous. So, no. Morons right there. They obviously don't know what I'm talking about. You can become friends with anyone easily, but you don't have a family. No, because family is the next level of friendship. As I said in, I think it was either last episode or episode before, you know, I consider Raptor like my little bro. And everyone from Gur to all the crew that I hang out with weekly, you know, I consider them my family because it gets to that point where you're no longer friends you're an extended family so no you make a youtube video that gets a million views but half of the ratings are dislikes don't care still seen it as long as it's retention don't care they've still seen it You save one million lives, but you lose your sense of identity. Everyone's always looking for their next version of identity, because if you're not changing, you're not growing. So yeah, I will save those million. And then those million, we can form our own cult. Yeah. You become the smartest, richest, most creative and successful businessman in the world. Not much then. But you become morbidly obese to the point that you can't even walk permanently. Well, if you become morbidly obese to the point where you can't even walk, you're already the smartest, richest, most creative, successful businessman in the world. If you're telling me in the world of business that you're not able to find, with all the money you have, a cure where you'll be able to get rid of it and start walking again with no permanent damage, yeah. MORONS! You can instantly cure all known disease throughout the world, but once you release a cure, you fail, you'll you fall into a coma for the rest of your life. See, that's quite a hard one because... Uh, you've got to think to yourself, what do you love more? I would, I would, because if any one of my family or friends got a disease like that, I would, I would save them. I would. I, I would save them. See? See, this kind of people. You can make anybody you want fall in love with you, but they will never leave. Win, win, chicken dinner, win. Win, 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 win. Done. Next. You'll get a Ferrari for your 21st birthday, but you can't drive it. Yes, I will, because if I... It doesn't say what Ferrari. So I would order some ridiculously expensive, like a 250 GTO 
California or some variant of the 250 GTO and sell that and with the millions that would come from that you would be able to get anything you want hell yeah why people do not think every picture that you are in looks a hundred percent amazing but every morning you wake up and feel like you have to throw up. Well, my appearance already makes me want to throw up, so... Neeb. You can guarantee the success of any artist, musician, writer, etc. you choose, but you can never observe their work again. Nope. I need artistry in my life. I need content. You can attend Harvard University, but you have to lick the bathroom floor of Walmart. Oh! Oh, no! No. No. Oh, there's going to be fecal matter, vomit, urine. God knows how many STIs, blood, dead things, gristle, ugh, no, 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 you, you utter brown nosing, you utter, utter disgusting simple, just work hard, just work hard and you'll be able to attend Harvard. You can travel through time, but you have to travel back and kill your grandfather. No, because then it would I would literally just cease. I would just go boop out of existence. Next! Infinite bacon, but Valve doesn't exist. It's a good thing this has come up now because with Xbox Game Pass or for the PC, it won't really affect PC players that bad. And plus, it's bacon. Ooh, a 50-50. Who's got more? They, more didn't. Oh, that's disappointing. But still, still, bacon is bacon. You are a highly respected meth cook who just earned 80 million dollars but your brother-in-law is a DA agent and a bunch of people want to kill you and you end up in a shack by yourself in New Hampshire. Hmm. I wonder where they got this from. Hmm. I really wonder where they got this from. I can't think of where they got this from. No, I, I, I saw what happened, no. You gain the ability to see the exact time of death floating above people's heads. Oh my god! Someone, someone's watched The Frighteners, and if you haven't watched The Frighteners, good Michael J. Fox film where he's not travelling back with Doc Brown. But you cannot tell them about it, and you do not know your own time of death. You see, this is quite interesting, because if you saw someone with a low clock and... They were miserable, you could spread happiness and make the final hours worth it. Yeah, yeah, I'll do that because then you wouldn't know yourself. You forget the worst thing that has ever happened to you, but you still feel the emotional weight of it. Done. Emotions can change in a heartbeat. You gain $5,000 every week for 15 years, but every person you meet and talk to will start off and say corny yo mama joke. Nah, I can't stand yo mama joke. 
Every time you snap your fingers, confetti falls from the sky, but you can no longer taste spicy food. That, that is a godsend. I'm not good with spicy food. So I could literally go to any, any, uh, what's it called? Like the extreme meat challenges where it's like eat 12 chicken wings co eat with ghost peppers and you'd be instantly able to win and then you could show off at the end by just snapping your fingers like confetti on demand Doop. yeah yeah hell yeah now i'm gonna leave this last question to everyone else you can press any button on this website without its side effects but you become severely depressed and no amount of cunning button pressing can save you from your suicidal thoughts. Woo! That's a bit of a... one. I'm going to leave that to everyone else here. If you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button. It is severely appreciated. If you love this video, go ahead and get subscribed because more content is on the way. And if you want to join, you can do that. That's the beauty of YouTube, that anyone can join, as long as you're not a knob. So, from me, I have been your host, Metal Gage, and until the next episode of Whatever It Shall Be, I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye!